Are you a beginner guitar player who is having issues fretting notes? No matter how hard you try, the notes do not sound the way you want them to. In this lesson, I am going to teach you the most basic elements that you can correct in your fretting hand, which will make your notes sustain the way they should be. What's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Dhanesh from LearnGuitarOnline.in and like I promised, I'll be taking you through some foundational elements of guitar playing that will set you up for success in the long run. In the last lesson, we spoke about how to hold the guitar, how to sit, sit with it, how to stand with it and how to practice. Whereas in this lesson, we'll be focusing on the other basic side of it, which is fretting the guitar. Now it is extremely important for you to know what is a good way to do it. There are many ways in which you have seen people do it. There are people who bring the thumb on top of the fretboard, play the guitar like this. There will be people who will keep their thumb facing towards the headstock in this direction. And then there will be some who will be pushing with their thumb at the bottom of the fretboard. Now when it comes to technique, I believe to each their own. Whatever you are used to, it happens. You know, it's difficult to change the habit. But what I am going to teach you, and if you are a beginner player, this will get you doing the right things from day one itself. So that tomorrow you don't have to make too many changes to your technique in order to play better or faster. So when it comes to fretting hand, we should not over complicate things. There are only few basic things that you need to remember. One of the things, the number one thing is the way you position your wrist on the fretboard. So what I like to do is think of it this way. You're always going to have some distance between the palm and the fretboard. So you're not going to be holding on to the fretboard in the initial days of your playing. The reason is you get a better stretch when you do this. Look at this. If I bring my thumb on top, I can barely stretch beyond four to five frets. The moment I drop the wrist down, my stretch increases on the instrument. And you will need stretch when you get to intermediate to advanced levels of playing. So why wait till then? Why not build the right technique from day one itself? So wrist position covered. Next thing is how are you going to place your thumb? So many people make this mistake of placing their thumb under, on the underside of the fretboard and pushing with the thumb which causes unnecessary pain in this area of your hand and that is what you want to avoid. You want to keep the hand and your palm nice and relaxed, especially the thumb. So you will keep the thumb like this facing towards the ceiling and it is going to follow your round about your middle finger wherever it's moving on the fretboard okay so no pressing with the thumb the thumb is actually not needed in fretting notes everything happens in this direction not from here so don't press with the thumb don't pull your wrist back and press down on it don't do any of that stuff just follow what i'm saying and you will get a maximum relaxation in your fretting hand for longer periods of time Third thing is, how are you going to fret the note? So I would always recommend use the tip of your fingers and not the pad of your fingers. Okay, don't try to play it like this, you know, with your finger curled in outward, instead curl it inward. You can test it out on yourself. You can hit yourself on your head by curling the finger like this and then try it like this. And you would experience that this has stronger effect i was just joking over there don't try that just remember that when you curl it inwards like this it has more power and strength and that will help you to fret better now the fourth thing is where will you place your finger because the region of a fret is quite big for your fingers see you can be anywhere on a particular fret it is always best to place it right behind the fret wire of the fret that you're going to play. So these 
uh, things, the perpendicular things to the fretboard. They are known as fret wires. So if I'm going to play the fifth fret, I'll be placing my finger right behind the fret wire of the fifth fret. This is more like shortening the distance of the string by pressing down on it. And that will ensure that you always get a clean note. So there you have it. Four tips to ensure that you get your fretting correct and start applying it right now to make sure that you don't have to struggle with your fretting and you can be out of the beginner phase as soon as possible. If you love what you're learning and you want to learn more, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and share it with as many number of people as possible so that you can do your bit to make this reach out. Let me know through your comments below about what other topics you would like me to cover in these lessons. For more such free learning resources, head over to learnguitaronline.in. This is Dhanesh again from learnguitaronline.in and I'll see you in the next lesson.